हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल पंजाबी गर्ल ब्लॉग्स आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल एंड माई नेम इज हरलीन एंड ऑन दिस चैनल आई शेयर माई एक्सपीरियंस एज एन इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट इन कैनेडा I go to University of Waterloo and I'm currently in fourth year in a co-op program. Uh in this video I'm going to be talking about what you can expect to earn if you choose a co-op program instead of a regular program. I will also be revealing what I earned as a co-op student in University of Waterloo. So I will be honest with you all that what I earned throughout my co-op terms and whether I was able to pay my tuition fee. I have worked in a in a government uh, funded company. I worked in a private company, and I've also worked in a financial institution. In this video, I'll be showing you a screenshot that you can uh, get a really good idea of uh, what your expected earnings could be if you choose a uh, University of Waterloo or if you choose any other similar university. So keep watching this video. When we are back home, like you know. university or college whichever you pick you go to their website and they are like oh you can pay your tuition fee ha na wo keh den they are that you pay your tuition fee but it is you know hard to believe ki whether actually you can pay your tuition so when you come here uh, in canada they have a minimum wage set for everybody like whether you are working in a in a restaurant whether you are working in a retail company wherever you are working you get this minimum wage for sure like your your pay could be higher than that um it could it can never be lower than that so for example in ontario it's 14 dollar an hour in bc it's 14 dollar and 60 cents whereas in alberta it's 15 dollars per hour right uh, so you definitely will get this minimum wage whether you are working uh, you know even if it's your co-op you will definitely earn more than this like not lower than this right and you could have like two co-op terms three co-op terms four co-op terms depending on the program that you choose like in university of waterloo uh, they usually have four to six co-op terms for example if you are in engineering program you have six co-op terms whereas if you are in mathematics or if you are in arts you could do four to five co-op terms right uh, so these co-op terms are mostly paid so here you can see the canadian work term rate uh, from university of waterloo in 2019 for example if you are in arts you earn 17 for your first work term average is 19 dollar in your second work term 20 dollars uh, 72 cents in your third work term 20 21 dollar and 50 cents in your fourth and so on right so you can check the screenshot here uh, this will give you an idea of what you can expect to earn if you are choosing a co-op program so this one is for university of waterloo but like if, even if you are in any other university it should be somewhere close to that and um, if you are in engineering oh my god i cannot say less like engineering students could get like 50 75 dollar an hour too like in their last co-op terms you could earn that much like there are so many students uh, who get their internships or co-ops in us uh, and company pays for so many of their expenses so then comes mathematics let's talk about mathematics if you are doing your first work term you can expect somewhere uh your average could be 1934 students have also earned highest is 36 dollars as you can see students can earn that much as well depending on what experience you have prior to that work term right obviously it's your first work term you won't get paid that much but you you get you get paid pretty well how it works how you get paid it depends on your experience like whatever prior experience you have they 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 pay you according to that uh and students with you know like really tough majors like mathematics actuarial science uh engineering uh, computer engineering computer science right they get paid way more than students uh students who are in arts faculty like choosing major in english or you know political science this screenshot is uh from the university of waterloo's website and i will also be putting the link in my description below so that you can also have go to that link and have a look yourself and there are various other factors that could determine how much you can earn it depends on the company it depends on your experience it depends on the minimum wage of that province right so make sure you keep that in mind um so this is what you could expect to earn Well this is from university's website I didn't make it myself okay let me give you some examples 
some companies like uh, financial institutions or private companies they pay more than what you could earn in a government funded company like especially federal government in canada doesn't pay that well to co-op students like you don't you won't be making that much but obviously you will be making more than if you are working on a minimum wage which is pretty good so let's talk about my experience as uh, a co-op student at university of waterloo I have completed three internships and I'm starting my fourth and fifth in this September. In my first co-op term, I worked in a in a it's a partially government funded company in in Toronto and I I got lucky. I was getting paid 21.75 21.75 an hour and I worked full time. Not only that, I got some other good benefits as well like i got a free um, bus pass for the for the entire four months there are various other, various other benefits too so i was easily able to make around 11 to 12 thousand dollar and my fees was 16 thousand dollar i will also link um, the video that i made that how i pay my tuition fee that will be helpful too now my second co-op was in a private company it's a tech company it's a technology based company and i was getting paid 22.85 or 75 an hour so not a big you know big difference like in my first i was getting paid 21.75 in my second one i was getting paid 22.75 not a huge difference uh, but pretty like one dollar matters too, like one dollar per hour. So easily you are making eight dollars every day more than what you were earning in your last co-op. And that's what I was making in my second co-op. And in my third co-op, uh, I was working in a financial institution, which is one of the big five banks in Canada. I worked there and I was getting paid uh, almost $24 an hour. Um, and there was not a, like, I'm not taking into account just that per hour money that I was getting. There were various other perks too. Like you get many other benefits you get. To and I earned almost $14,000, uh, $13 to $14,000 from that internship. And that helped me pay a lot a big chunk of my tuition fee and then comes my fifth and sixth one that i will be starting in fall so it's a financial technology it's a fintech company it's a us based company and uh, i am getting paid I'm, i got lucky and i'm getting paid dollar 36 almost 36 dollar an hour let me tell you i don't go i don't belong to mathematics faculty in university of waterloo i'm from arts faculty there are some companies they do they do check like you know which faculty you belong to for example if you are in a mathematics faculty you will get paid more than arts faculty person right and that happened with me actually when i was doing my second internship in a tech company uh, there was engineering student and myself we were both on a same team working like doing everything same but he was getting paid more than, more than me that is bad but like i mean they are paying way more than like engineering students are paying way more than what i am paying right now uh, for my tuition fee see let's talk about whether you can pay your tuition fee or not obviously you can pay a huge chunk huge chunk of your tuition fee with the co-op program I would say choosing a co-op program is one of the best decisions that I have made so far. I hope you I was able to explain you guys what you could expect to earn if you choose a co-op program. I chose an example of University of Waterloo, but obviously if you are choosing another institution, it could vary, but it it won't vary that much. Uh, so and yes, um, just just to summarize that yes, it does help to pay your tuition fee obviously you might not be able to pay the 100 like 100 percent of your tuition fee but definitely you can pay around 80 25 percent of your tuition fee and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos i will be definitely back with more such videos bye